thinking back, I have no doubt that the dropping of the atom bombs saved my life along with several others. Because I can't imagine that if a invasion back by the Allies into Malaya and to Singapore in conventional warfare, that we would have been allowed by the Japanese to be alive, as it were, behind their lines. I think we would have been shot. In fact, I'm fairly certain. If they could expend as many lives as they did on the railway and be quite happy that they died in the way they did from disease and starvation, that they would have shot us if a, a normal invasion had taken place by the Allies. The atom bomb saved our lives. And of course, things happened occurred very rapidly after that. Paratroops appeared, Mountbatten appeared, he came up to the jail, and rations improved greatly. And we started getting some odd bits of clothing because by that time, more or less, I was down to what we call a, 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 a kind of a, a nappy it's a piece of white cloth. And if you've seen these photographs of prisoner of war at the time, you realize all they had was this piece of cloth covering the necessary, necessary parts and a pair of wooden clogs made out of rubber tree wood. And as I say, many of us skeletons, really. So, we had a month to more or less get ourselves reasonably fit as we could before our transport back to Britain came. We went back on a Polish ship, plenty of food. It was like a cruise back from the Far East, Indian Ocean, Red Sea, Suez Canal, Mediterranean, back home to Liverpool. One night in a transit camp, on a train, back to Euston and King's Cross, taken by the Women's Voluntary Services to my home, and dumped on the doorstep with my kit pack. Nobody, uh, I, didn't, I didn't get anybody asking me how I was or anything like that. I was just put back home. Nowadays, I think if you came back from the same sort of situation, they'd have all sorts of people looking after you. We didn't get that. We didn't get that. I got a letter f through the post from a, a colonel in the artillery saying, here's my telephone number. If you have any, any worries or any doubts, give me a ring. But that was all. I got home. Never saw the army again. Really? <laughs>